or face the fire by Ja. Chapter 1 Before the beginning of human life on Earth, thousands of Earth years ago, far away in this galaxy, the morning star, the Lord Guardian of Divinity, King, Ruler and Guardian of the Universe, put down a revolution led by Lucifer, Iblis. Cross-reference, Revelation 2.28 and I will give him the morning star. Lord Guardian of Divinity King, Malachi 1.14 But cursed be the deceiver, which hath in his flock a male, and voweth and sacrificeth unto the Lord a blemished thing. For I am a great king, saith the I am Lord of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. Ruler Guardian of the Universe, Surah 23.86 Say, who is the Lord of the seven heavens, and the Lord of the throne of glory supreme? Put down a revolution led by Lucifer, Revelations 12, 7 through 9. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, Lucifer. And the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan which deceiveth the whole world he was cast out to the earth and his angels you Luke 955 were cast out with him Matthew 25 41 cross-reference the morning star Venus is inhabited by immortal beings of light spirit energy whose civilization based on pure love is zillions of years old Lucifer now known here on earth as Satan the opposer, the devil, the liar, slanderer, red dragon, serpent, from which the word devil, d slash evil, is derived because of his selfish and arrogant nature, wanted to overthrow the Lord and take his place so that he could rule and inflict his own selfish opinion and evil desires on the heavens. He encouraged and misled many of the other inhabitants of the morning star, whom people on earth know by the name angels to join him and he then started a war against God. The liar, the slanderer, red dragon, serpent, Revelation 12, 3 and 9. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his head. 9. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent, called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world, he was cast out to the earth, and angels, you, were cast out with him, whom people on earth know by the name angels, to join him, and he then started a war against God. Revelation 12:7. And there was a war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon Lucifer, and the dragon fought and his angels. Isaiah 14, 13 and 14. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like, take the place of the Most High. 1-4 Angels do not carry harps or have wings. They merely have melodic sounding type of voice and they can fly the very simple mentality of people of the early biblical days who had never seen anything on earth flying unless it had wings led to the myth about angels Lucifer did not declare war and fight with honor but sneaked around murdering and fought dishonorably John 8:44, John 8:35, cross-reference ye are of your father the devil and the lusts of your father ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar, and the father inventor of it. Lucifer did not declare war and fight with honor, but sneaked around murdering and fought dishonorably, as all terrorists do. Prince Michael, God's eldest son, known by many names here on earth, one of which is Jesus, Savior, Commander-in-Chief of the Jedi Knights, who have been the guardians of heaven for zillions of years, fought with his knights using the light and the force, which is the force of love. God, who is pure love, and the source and controller of his force, love, the greatest force in creation, 
defeated Lucifer and his followers, some of whom were misled by lies into fighting against God. Unlike Lucifer, who would have spared no one, the Lord, in his infinite wisdom and compassion, decided to demonstrate his love and mercy to his enemies. God, knowing that Lucifer had invented lying and had deceived many weak-willed angels into following him, decided not to execute them immediately, but to give them a chance to learn the error of their ways. If they genuinely repented within a preset period of time, he would spare them. If not, he would have no alternative but to destroy them. Lucifer had invented lying, John 8.35, King of Kings Bible. He would have no alternative but to destroy them, Malachi 4, six, And he shall turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. John 3.17-18 For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the identity of the only incarnated Son of God. Chapter 5, 24, 25 Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and liveth by him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, The hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. The Lord then had to decide what to do with his prisoners, so that they could do no more harm and could be safely taught to be good. Being spirit energy, they could not be punished, only destroyed using fire, not earthly fire, because they feel no pain and have no needs. Cross-reference, being spirit energy, Luke 9.55. But he turned and rebuked them and said, Ye know not what kind of spirit ye are. Revelations 12.7-9, Matthew 8.22. Because they feel no pain and have no needs. Cross-reference, Revelation 7.16. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. Not executing Lucifer and his angels outright created quite a difficult situation. They had to be taught to keep the twelve laws of heaven, the twelve commandments, see appendix, ten of which were given to Moses on Mount Sinai, and the eleventh and twelfth which were given later on by Jesus, one of which God demonstrated and still demonstrates, that is, love for your enemies into being good. He did this by giving you a chance and the opportunity of learning to be good, even though you had intended and actually tried to kill him. This demonstrates perfectly God's gentle use of strength. Exodus 20, verse 1 to 17. And God spoke these words, saying, I am the I am, thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth, neither shalt thou possess them, if others make them. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for the I am thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the inequity of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate or disobey me, and showing mercy unto the thousands of them that love and obey me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the I Am thy God in vain, use it when not talking to him or about him, for I Am will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain, and thus wasteth his time or insulteth him. Remember the Sabbath day, and keep it holy. It is not wrong to do good deeds on the Sabbath. The Sabbath was made for man. Man was not made for the Sabbath.
Six days shall you labor and do all your work. The seventh day is the Sabbath of the I Am thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger, that is within thy gates. For in six days the I Am made heaven and earth, the sea, all that in them is the rest the seventh day. Wherefore the I Am blessed the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, Israel, that thy days be long upon the land which the I Am thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not murder, kill unlawfully. Thou shalt not commit adultery, neither personally nor nationally. Thou shalt not steal, nor make up thine own laws to enable thee to do so by fraud, deceiving people. Thou shalt not tell lies, not even thyself, neither to nor against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Jesus gave the new commandment, Love one another as I have loved you to his disciples. He was telling them to love their enemies and to teach them by loving them because the disciples had originally been his enemies in the war or they would not have been here in prison. Cross reference. Love one another as I have loved you. John 13:34. A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another as I have loved you that you also love one another. And 15:12, This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Revelation 12:7. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon Lucifer, and the dragon fought and his angels. Or they would have been left here in prison. Isaiah 14:12 to 15. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning star? How art thou cut down to earth, which didst weaken the nations? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will make like the place of the Most High. Yet you shall be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Luke 9.55 But he turned and rebuked them, and said, Ye know not what kind of spirit ye are of. And Revelation 12.8 And prevail not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. Surah 17.8 It may be that your Lord may yet show mercy unto you, but if you revert to your sins, we shall revert to our punishments, and we have made hell, the earth, a prison. Cross-reference Enoch 18.15 For those who reject all faith. Surah 83.7 Nay, surely the record of the wicked is preserved in their prison record. Loving your enemies does not mean allowing them to do evil, or to get away with doing evil or allowing them to persuade you to do evil things, or to stop you from doing what God wants you to do. Just like when Satan used Peter to try to stop Jesus from doing God's will, Jesus said to Satan, who was speaking through Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Matthew 16.23 He turned and said to Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savorest not the things be of God, but those that be of men. The twelfth commandment, also given later by Jesus, as, You shall not judge. He who judges another condemns himself. Matthew 7, 1. This applies to all of you, especially in your courts. God has given his judgment and laws, as well as the commandments, and anyone else's judge judgments and laws are totally unlawful. If everyone kept the commandments, there would be absolutely no problems on earth. Cross-reference, Matthew 7, 1. Judge not, that ye be not judged. 
All the prisoners were given suspended death sentences, unless they learned to be good. Those death sentences still stand and are only suspended until Judgment Day. You still are under the shadow of a death sentence. Cross-reference, Exodus 34, 6-7. And the I Am passed before him and proclaimed, The I Am, the I Am God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving inequity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the inequity of the fathers upon the children and upon the children's children unto the third and to the fourth generation. John 3.17-18 For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the identity of the only incarnate Son of God. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that heareth my word, and liveth by him that sent me, hath everlasting life, and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death into life. Verily, verily, I say unto you, The hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. I have already stated in the introduction that this book is fact, not fiction. The word Jedi is an abbreviation for Jesus' disciple. Before any of you start to fall into the trap of mistakenly thinking that this book is a science fiction novel based on Star Wars by George Lucas, just because I have used the word Jedi, I am going to explain to you something that George Lucas does not know yet. George Lucas quite naturally believes that he wrote Star Wars, but in reality, he was told telepathically what to write in episodes 4 through 6, inclusively, and then forced to make those episodes first by the very force to which the Star Wars film refers, as a very important step in the preparation of mankind for the long-awaited truth about the real reason for human life on Earth. What on Earth am I doing here? The meaning of life and its purpose contained in this book. This book is science fact. Yoda is an abbreviation and refers to a training book. George Lucas, not understanding that he was being told telepathically, thinks that Star Wars came from his imagination, which is a perfectly normal human reaction that many people have had over the centuries. Rudyard Kipling thought that he wrote If. Oscar Wilde thought that he wrote The Picture of Dorian Gray. Joe Darian thought that he wrote the words to The Impossible Dream and the list is endless. Although Star Wars is set as science fiction in a distant galaxy, to make it entertaining it actually refers to this galaxy and life on Earth and contains the truth, which is demonstrated symbolically. What Luke Skywalker learns during the Star Wars film episodes 4 through 6 inclusive is what each and every one of you has to learn to be able to survive and get out of here and go home. Episodes 1 through 3 are meaningless fiction.